I didn't mean to rush you. I hope it wasn't rude. But I have an appointment, and if I'm late, they'll blow a fuse. What was that? You stopped. Why'd I have to say that? About blowing out a fuse. What a dumb thing to say. Just press the button over there to get started again. We're stuck. Yeah. stuffy in here. Isn't that kind of stuffy? <laughs> Maximum weight in pounds, 3,500. What do you weigh? 128. Yeah, we're all right. Of course we're all right. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah. We're just stuck in the, the little old elevator. Hey, are you okay, really? Who, me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I have to get used to it, that's all, because this is, this is the first time I've ever been trapped in an elevator. <laughs> trap, trap, trap. That, uh, that thing, you know, where you're scared of small, tight places. Oh, claustrophobia? Yeah. No, 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 nothing like that. Claustrophobia? No, 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 no. No, I, I just uh, can't stand small, tight places. But I, I, I can handle this all right, because I know we'll, we'll get out of here in a couple of minutes. Oh, well, sure we will. You really think so? Of course I think so. But if you thought we were really trapped in here, what would you say? <laughs> we're not really trapped. Yeah, well, I know, but if you thought we were, what would you say? <laughs> then I'd say, well, we're really trapped. Oh, my God, I knew it! I knew it! Dear, you shouldn't get so excited. Yeah. Isn't this awful? Cause I never act this way, really. I'm, I'm a very calm, organized person. So I want you to know that if it really comes down to it, you can depend on me. I mean, you understand that? I understand. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't come down to it. Maybe I should yell for help. Why not? Help! Help! No. Help! Oh, oh. My name is Charity Hope Valentine and... Hey, you're shaking! All over. Oh, come on. I love your wrist. You know what I feel like doing now? I mean, you know what my impulse is? Mm -hmm. To take off all my clothes. <laughs> I don't think that would do very much good. You'd think they'd have a telephone in here, wouldn't you? Never again. Never going to go to bed again without checking for a phone. Always check for a phone. Hey. Listen, I have an idea. What do you think of this? Climbing out the top of the elevator, shimmying up the cable, and then forcing the door open on the floor above. Well, it might work, but gee, I do think it sounds a little dangerous. Then don't try it. Stay here with me. Hey, come on down there. We don't think it's funny anymore. If I could just get out for a few minutes. Just a few minutes outside, and then I'd be all right. Then I'd come back inside. Listen, I really think the best thing to do is keep talking about something else. Then you won't think about it, okay? What's your name? Your name? What's your name? Don't you have a name? I don't think so. Well, sure you have a name. Everybody's got a name. Bruce, Howard, Richard, no. Penny. Jim. Oscar. My name is Oscar Linquist. Uh, Oscar Stop Linquist. Here. Stop uh, Stop no, 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 no. Keep her clothes on, Oscar. Now, where do you live? Who? Oscar Linquist. Where do you live, Oscar Linquist? Keep talking. Where do you live? In an elevator. Yeah, don't live in an elevator. You live in a house. Now concentrate. Yes, poor eleven. He's seventy-four. Street. I've got to stop breathing so much. I'm going to use up all the air. Keep talking. I can keep talking. That's not fair. You should breathe some of the air. I can breathe. I can breathe. Now listen. 
Where do you work? The Excelsior Life Insurance Company. Your life is our business. I'm an actuary. Well, what's an actuary? I figure out premiums based on the probabilities. Good, Oscar. Now, what's the probability? The odds. The odds on what? Keep talking. Suppose you wanted a policy. Yes, I want a policy. Go on. It's my, it's my job to study your particular situation. Yes. And then figure out the odds on your meeting with an unfortunate accident like... Suffocating in an elevator. Oh, sir! Mr. Lindquist! Are you all right? This is really my lucky day. All the millions of guys in this town I wind up with a candidate for the funny farm. Not too bad looking, though. For a food cake. It's a nice face. This face is gold. It's a very nice face. With a place for every feature. Every feature in its place. Not a commonplace face. His eyes. Blue. His chin. Stubborn and strong. His ears. They're ordinary ears. His nose. A little long. Still, it's a gentle face. A little square. A little corny. It's a sentimental face If he'd smile He'd look like So <laughs> When he's mad He'd look like So <laughs> So Make this a federal case, it's just another pretty face. But you know, it's a very, very, very nice face. Where am I? Do you remember where you were before? No. Are you still there? Oh my God, don't leave me! I won't leave you, Oscar. I won't leave you. I promise I'll stay right here in this elevator with you and everything's going to be just fine. What happened? I think the lights went out. Oh, boy! Help! 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 